Hey guys, look Fog here and welcome to another Fever 20 Team of the Season Play Review and today guys I'm going to be reviewing the 95 rated Argentine striker Carlos Tevez. This card looks absolutely spectacular. I was able to pick him up for 620,000 coins, of course. Also, this is the second time that I am reviewing a Tevez card this year. I did review his 92 rated cop of Libertadores a little bit earlier on in the year, and I was very lucky to be able to pack that card uh, twice in the Libertadores promo. Sadly, I haven't been able to get my hands on a Carlos Tevez pack pool card as of yet. Uh, so instead, I did have to spend that 620,000 coins in the four games that I did play with him. He did score me five goals and he got me two assists. He also does have four star skills as well as four star weak foot. Moving along into Zingim Sats, his main Salad Sats will be his 96 finishing, his 99 shot power, as well as his 97 balance, and uh, finally his 99 composure. I did have the Maestro Camps that applied to him. Getting into his traits, his first trait is the AI trait of long shot taker, then he's got the outside foot shot, the team player, and the finesse shot trait as well. And uh, I don't think EA are going to release us with much content today. Usually on a Tuesday, they give us the league SBCs. Um, I'm nowhere near close to completing League 1 or the 2 or the League SBCs, the MLS and the... Oh, well, actually, they might do one for the Sud America and Libertadores, so maybe there might be another video later on tonight. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe they might release that the Rossi SBC eventually. Who knows what's going to go on with that because that card is still in the code and we haven't seen it yet, which is a bit weird. But anyway, you're here for the Carlos Tevez review. And he's a great card. He is fantastic. Now, I do want to quickly say, comparing him with that 92 rated Copper Libertadores card, his team of the season, in terms of base stats, has got four more pace, five more shooting, seven more passing, four more dribbling, like eight more defending, which doesn't really matter too much, and also four more physicality. But let's get into the pros, first of all, of this Tevez card. For me, his first one's going to have to be his finishing. Very, very good return. Five goals in the four games. Yes, you know, a couple of the goals were tapping and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, he had to be in the right place at the right time to at least finish those you know to finish those chances off and well obviously his amazing attacking position there at 96 certainly helped him to do so but that maestro chem style obviously is gonna you know uh, help quite a few of his stats like his long shots go up into the into the very high 90s he's got 96 finishing he's got that 99 shot power four star weak foot as well as something that's still very very effective to have and there's uh, certainly five goals in the four games is a, is, a, is a very, very good return. You can't fault that whatsoever. Uh, his dribbling, again, solid there. All around 93 agility, 97 balance. Um, he's got 96 in both ball control and in dribbling. 99 composure as well. Four star skimmers, which is also very nice. He is small at the height of 5 foot 7, so he feels nice and smooth on the ball. He's not clunky or anything like that. At the same time, I've used the 92 rated Libertadores uh, Carlos Tevez as well. And I'll be quite honest, I've still got the 92 Libertadores Tevez and sometimes use him as a super sub. I'll tell you guys right now, in terms of dribbling, there's a overall difference of four stats. So the team season card has got four more dribbling base stats than what the Libertadores card has got. I'll be quite honest, I couldn't tell any difference between the two cards when it came to dribbling. I think both cards are both four star, four star uh, as well. But uh, dribbling wise... You know, I, I can't tell the difference between both of the cards. Both of their dribbling stats on either card are very, very good. But if you're asking me, you know, does the 95 card have better dribbling than the 92 card? Yes, it does on paper, but in-game, you couldn't really notice it as far as I'm concerned. But his dribbling in-game is still very, very impressive. And also his passing, very nice at the same time. 92 vision, 97 short passing. Can you use him as a cam? The answer is yes. I can't remember where I, obviously, the 92 uh, Libertadores Tevez came out and packs as a cam. His team of the season comes out and packs as a striker i can't exactly remember where i reviewed the length two rated libertadores cards but since this one comes out of packs as a striker i thought i may as well use him in the position that he comes out in packs as but at the same time if you're sitting here thinking can i use him as a cam the answer is yes because he got me two assists in the four games and he's got stats that would make him work as a cam for example the fantastic dribbling stats the nice shooting stats which are still very very important for a cam and also the exceptional passing stats at the same time so yes he can work as a cam for me there's no major issues with the card whatsoever i mean i suppose yeah he's a bit pricey i mean you can link him in relatively easy you know for example you saw that i linked him in with icons and also with that uh with that team this season Dybala. but in terms of leagues and stuff i mean you know there's a few good cards you can link him into the uh, the paris card from the libertadores league sbc there's quite a few with this as well and obviously icons as i did mention before but um, I thought his physicality wasn't quite as good as what it says to be 99 strength and 99 aggression. Don't get me wrong, he doesn't feel weak or anything like that, but he doesn't feel like 99 strength or 99 aggression. And probably the reason for that being is because he is only 5'7 in height. But uh, sometimes, you know, defenders, if you're coming up against like a, you know, like a Varane or a Van Dyke, the, you know, Tevez isn't going to be 
I mean, obviously, Tevez has got the fantastic, you know, finishing and, and dribbling and stuff. But in terms of a physical battle, he's never going to be able to compete with, with a Van Dyke, in my personal opinion, uh, or, you know, or anything like that. But, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not bad enough to put it down as a major issue to the card. It's just I don't personally feel, feel like it felt like 99 strength in just my personal opinion. Um, would I go and pay over 600,000 country right now? <sighs> No, I, I I don't know if I would, to be quite honest. I think wait till you open your guarantee packs, your rewards and stuff like that, um, your upgrade packs as well. He'll come down more in value. I reckon this card, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll probably go to 550, maybe even slightly lower than that on Xbox, maybe a similar price on PlayStation as well. His 92 card, though, is still a fantastic card. If you aren't able to afford his team of the season card, don't worry, because his 92 rate Libertadores is still a super, super card and will still do a very, very good uh, you know, job at the same time. But yeah, six, uh, sorry, seven goal contributions in the four games. Very fun to use this Carlos Tevez card, and uh, I certainly did enjoy using him. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.